breakthrough. So some things are what I call a blessing lesson. Not only a blessing, but we learn something. We believe God. Amen. I believe God. Lord, I believe all things are possible. I believe. And we're coming together to put the belief, the faith together. Because whatever the need is in the house, we believe God. Amen. Lord, I believe. Somebody on the bow down here, 
right now. Somebody's heart is broken right now. Somebody's depressed right now and in despair. But God, I know you're able. Hallelujah. Come on to believe, God. Get your heart to faith, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, continue to come to the heart of Marie, God. We're up all into the kingdom right now. In the name of Jesus, keep her, God. Hold her and let her know the love for you. Even to the least, oh God, keep up, God. Oh God, we are not the only one that spirits for the spirits in the ring, but God is able. You know all. You know everybody. You are all knowing God. The omniscient, the omnipresent. You can meet the needs there. Because you are Jehovah Shama. You're there. Oh God, be there in the midst, God. Save those that need to be saved. Reclaim those that are back sleep. Oh God, and restore, restore, reveal, strengthen, God. Your people that's yet in the world, strengthen and encourage our hearts. Keep us, God, and we'll be kept. Oh God, we're leaning and depending on you. Hallelujah, we're trusting in you. We're leaning on the everlasting on. God, tell us, shine down, we see the light. Hallelujah. High, and we are in it. And we're going to stay in the light. Oh, we love you today. Bless us in our service. Please, you, God. You are the one we came for. Hallelujah. We want to please you. We're here at your service, Lord. Now, God, bless our pastor in a special way. Continue to strengthen his heart and encourage him, God, as he leads this spot right here, God. You let Lady God lift her up, Lord, strengthen her. Lord, give her her heart's desires. You know her heart's desires, God. Give them to her, God. You know they're for good. And we bless you, Lord. We bless the Lord for Bishop Paul, God. Oh God, continue to endow him with your spirit. Give him added spirit, added strength. As he has already been transferred all over God. Give him added strength, God. Open doors and make ways, God. Bless his name, thank God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to increase, increase her faith and encourage her, God. Even bless the family. Lord, you know the families represented here. You know the needs in the family. God, we give them all to you, Lord. And we trust in it and in you. And we're going to give you the glory. We pray to you because we believe. We pray to you because we believe you. That's why we praise you. And we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have the reading of the scriptures from the Evangelist Clark. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 That he loves you. He did that for his glory. So you 
Let them bring forth their witnesses. 
I'm with you. He's calling the witnesses. And I tell you, the witnesses are going to help people through. Yeah, 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 yeah. The witnesses will help people through. But when they, when the people witness, grab hold. So here I go again. May the Lord bless that's Adam Wesley. Readers, the hearers, the believers in the doors of his word. Yet my soul's my soul. 
what he says. Come on, Pastor, read it for us. And Elijah took his mantle All right. and wrapped it together and smoked the waters and they were divided hither and thither, for that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were going over that Elijah said unto Elisha, ask what I should do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Mm. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire. Parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the man of Elijah and fell, and fell from him, and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the man of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, 
they parted here and thither, and the leash went over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were the few at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah is good rest on the leash. And they came to the end and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And they said unto him, Behold now, there be with thy servants fifty strong men. Let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master. Lest peradventure the spirit of the Lord have taken him up and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, Ye shall not sin. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Sin. They sent therefore fifty men, and he sought him three days and found him not. And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you? Go. Men of the city said unto the Elisha, Behold, I pray thee. The situation of the city is pleasant. As my Lord see it, but the water is not in, in the, the water is not in the ground there. And he said, Bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. Now go with me to the book of Hebrews. Book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter. Book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter. We're going to look at verses eight through thirteen, and then verses thirty-nine and then forty. Eight through thirteen. And the word of all reason. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. Hebrews 11, yeah. so in verse, verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out to a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of the promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore spring be even of one, and him as good as dead, as many as the stars of the sky and the multitude, as the sand which is by the sea, shore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but have seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Verse 39 And these all have obtained a good report through faith. Receive not the promise. God have provided some better thing for us that they without that should not be made perfect. And it will have a blessing to the reading, to the hearing of the word. The thing that God gave me to come and tell you is they without us cannot be perfect. You, you, you hear what I say? We, we pastor, we looking at we, we looking at if the vision that God gave you is not perfect. And the vision that God gave you is not for a whole lot of people. Oh, y'all not here. If it was for a whole lot of 
people, you will not give them the truth. Because you will be trying to satisfy the people. But God has a chosen few. So when I when I was talking to God, you know, I, I'm weird. I'm weird, Pastor. I'm weird. And I started to talk to God and I said, Lord, what are you telling me? What is it exactly? He said, now, they waited. He waited till it fell. But he had to be in the right position. Uh oh. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Here we go, Pastor. I want you to grab this gun. They might not grab it quick, but you grab it. <laughs> Pastor Howard, I never met him. But the anointing was on him. And they tell me the story that she used to walk with a tape. That's right. Now, I don't walk with a tape. That ain't my style, but she was anointed enough that the tape healed. Yes. Uh oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'm talking to maybe I'm talking to myself. I never met Pastor Wade. They say I did, but you know, I don't remember Pastor Wade. I Bishop Tyler, Bishop Hunter, Bishop Richards, Richardson, Bishop Swansea, Bishop West, them that I know, them are the bishops that I know, that live whole. And what did they do? They deposited something in me that when they are not here, still be perfect. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all not here? Nah, I'm here. We have, a, we have a tendency saying no man can be perfect. Mm -hmm. Then you say that the God in you is not perfect. So when they preached to us, they gave us a foundation that should never be moved. And the foundation that they gave us, they trusted in. Mm -hmm. They died in it. Yes, yes. They lived it. Yes, they did. And how are they made perfect? By how we stand. Mm. I'm never going to be like Bishop Tyler. Eh? I ain't going to lie. Eh? That was the most gentle person I ever met. I mean, it's a dollar bill. Bishop Richardson was just like him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes I'll be laughing because my wife tells me, she said, You sound like Apostle Percy. So I turn around and I said, So do I have Swansea and Apostle Percy? And it's all mixed up. Oh. <laughs> uh, where is Florida at? <laughs> where is Florida going to be? And I tell on me, yes, I do. We used to come, me and Troy used to come to the church. And I mean, I mean, <laughs> and he tell, God going to get you. God going to get you. God going to get you. You plan. <laughs> I will stand behind a whole bit. I'll be right over here. And talk you. And God going to get you. <laughs> and I turn around and say, He ain't got me. <laughs> Why I say that? He got me now. <laughs> he got me now. But they laid a foundation for us to know what is God. That's it. They walked in this. 
they lived in. They stood in it. They didn't back out. And they pass something to you. Listen to me. Watch this. And I thought about it. Lord, have mercy. You know 
them. You know them because they lived it before you. So therefore, you know that you can be perfect. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. they, wasn't, they wasn't one of them type of people that was out there willfully sinning and didn't no. come in the church and doing whatever. No. Matter of fact, you couldn't come up in this pulpit if you wasn't saved. They said, God, it wasn't happening. I thought, y'all forgive me, but my mind is going back into memory. I thought there was a preacher that stood up and preached at Bishop College Appreciation. Yes. Got up and preached. They gave him the opportunity to do the benediction. Yes. And while he was doing the benediction, fell down. Yes. They said before he hit the ground, Everlasting. Mm -hmm. Same old time. Everlasting. Everlasting. Mm -hmm. The man preached. But he preached his last message. So I turned around and told God, I said, What are you telling me? He said, You ought to preach like it's your last message. Mm -hmm.
hatred. <laughs> My wife said, you wrong. <laughs> no, Barbie is flying the plane. <laughs> is there another? <laughs> I got to get to L.A. Got <laughs> and Barney. She said, he went to school. What school? I didn't. I don't see no certificate. I don't see no. Matter of fact, every plane, every pilot got that little plane thing on their, on their, on their shirt. He didn't have nothing. He got a white shirt and a black tie. Barney flying. <laughs> I gotta be. And make sure I have that for myself. When my savings are going to burn me, I gotta be saved. Terrible. 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 Brought Evangelist Parker to my mind. He brought Evangelist Gwen, Evangelist Davis, Evangelist Rowland, Evangelist Johnson. Amen. Mama Edwards. He brought all these people to my mind. Somebody said, Well, you can't be saved and be perfect. That's not the truth. That's not the book. Say it. Listen, you can't be perfect because your flesh fight against the spirit. You can't be perfect. Walking after the flesh, you fulfill the lust of the flesh when you walk after the flesh. But if I'm walking in the spirit, he guides my footsteps. I use him all the time. He, he said, now, now I, I got a meet. I got a meet. And I need God to go with me in the meeting. Because I need God to word my mouth. I need God to hold my mouth. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Jesus. I told, I told, told Bishop Sanders Church today. I said, y'all in company. Y'all in company. You telling me you're going to come to the church and don't give God praise and he kept you in company? With all the stuff that's going on, all the temptation that's going on, he keep you, and you want to come in here and act like you don't owe God a praise? Yeah. I was I was uh, used to say he'd been better. See, I didn't understand that talk back then. No, I didn't. I, I used to be back there messing with Zena when she shot. <laughs> yes, I did. I, was, I told y'all crazy. Everybody, all the young people, get out the way because she's wild. I'm the only one that tried to get up. And Mama Elwood grabbed my ear. She said, Yeah. Listen, if I could fight, but I won't fight you. And I saw what she did to Shanto. I, I ain't crazy. <laughs> she laid some holy hands on Shanto. <laughs> he was in there too. She said, put up your boots. So I did just like this. <laughs> I live with you. <laughs> I know what you can do. I think Shato was just trying to protect himself. But when he when she saw me, she went in. I said, <laughs> listen, for her to be the statue that she was and to move her hand like she was moving. I, if I was trying, I would have been like this too. <laughs> yeah. She put hands on Shato. Then came in the church and started shouting. Now, how do that make sense? <laughs> Tell me. Back in the day. And kept us on the altar. I ain't seen her one time get on the altar for repentance. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to repent. 
for that. <laughs> I know who to mess with, who to not to mess with. But they live this. They live it. So listen to what I'm telling you. Keep holding on to your truth. Keep holding on to what God gave you. God ain't looking at the number. God, listen to me. God promised revelation won't fall. You're not hearing me. God promised revelation won't fall. I don't care what comes against me. I don't care who don't show up. I don't care who don't do what they're supposed to do. God is keeping revelation. Amen to that. You hear me, Pastor? I ain't worried about numbers. God is worried about souls. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I turned around and said, All right, so you brought all these. What are you telling me? He asked me to do it. I'm going to sit down. He asked me this. He said, Do you believe thou this? Believe it thou this? I said, This time, normally I say yes. Lord, I believe. Yes, I do. I say it quick. My wife will tell you, I say it quick. Lord, I believe. But this time, I'm exactly. Said, believe it thou this. I waited for him to tell me what is it that you want me to believe. And this is what he told me, and I'm done. Because she already preached. I ain't trying to preach on what she preached. I'm trying to encourage her. Do you believe that my promise is still standing? Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you believe that my promise is still standing? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So I turned around, Pastor, and I said, Lord, what promise? I got to get Pacific. Lord, what promise? He said, the promise that I made to you from the day I saved you to the day I take you out, do you believe? I said, all right. Maybe I got to be more specific. What is it that you want me to believe, Lord? I said, do you believe? He was talking on the phone. I wasn't at home, Pastor. My wife was at home crying. She didn't tell me until maybe a day or two later that she was at home crying. And she said, she didn't know why she was crying. She said, but she felt something urged to tell her to start packing our house. Did you hear me? And it costs over $3,000 to move from Florida to here. So I started telling God, I ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> if you're telling me to move back to California, you better make a way out of nowhere. He said, believe it thou this. Hallelujah. So we went to Apostle to talk to Apostle Person. Apostle turned around and said, Preacher, it's your time. I said, You keep telling me that. I, I hear that. I understand that. But he said, You come back, I turn the church over. You really 
going to make me a pastor junior now. So my wife started to talk to a pastor, and I walked out, and I walked in, and I heard God say, now start packing. What that mean, pastor? We are on our way back to California. <laughs> I love you. You had your season. God told me to come back home. <laughs> believe it now, this? Believe it. I believe you fully. So you're going to make preparation. How did, did my wife turn around? She said, well, if we come back, I got to have a job. Look at uh, another bishop called me. He said, now listen, my, my wife worked for the state, for the city. And then she's a probation officer. She worked for the city. He said, my wife will get your wife a job. I said, this is moving fast. <laughs> Let me get home first. <laughs> this is moving fast. Then got milk turned around and said, Your wife and my wife got a similar vision. Yeah. I said, What are you trying to say? Tell my wife. I said, I ain't going to see you no more when you, if we move back to California. I ain't going to see you no more until it's time to go to bed. She said, Why you say that? I said, because you'll be out there with Zena, you'll be with Philly, you'll be with Lady, you'll be with everybody that's connected to them. I ain't gonna see you till it's time to close your eyes. She said, No, I ain't gonna, I know. I said, You don't know me. I know. Zena? That's all right. I love her, she know I do. But Zena called my wife. My wife ain't going to hesitate. She'd be on her way. And I'm not mad about it. Go do what you got to do. Go have the kingdom. I ain't mad at you. Go do what God tells you to do. I see you if, if I'm asleep. Just tell me and let me know you're home. So then my cousin told me, she said, if you're going to pastor in Lancaster, where are you going to stay? I said, God knows. If he tells me to come, he got to make all preparation. That's it. He got to make all preparation. Uh huh. He ain't going to make some. He got to make all. He's going to cover it all. Yes. So I turned around and said, a young man in Florida, he said, when you get to Los Angeles, every time you get to LA and they get in that church, you act like you don't. You just go wild. You go crazy. You preach like you're a madman. I said, no, I don't. He said, yeah. I said, no, I don't. He said, man, it's a different glow. It's a different anointing that follows you when you walk in that church. I said, because you don't understand the commitment that God made with the people that started the church and those that stood on what God said. See, there's a commitment that they made with God that, that when they raised me up, that was a commitment. And so when I came into knowing who God was, he passed himself to the community and he drew me into where he wanted me to be. Now I'm able to stay. That's it. That's it. Yes, yes. It got nothing to do with us. It got to do with them that made a promise to God. Uh-huh. Tell it. Tell it. Yeah. It's your time that made a promise to God. Pastor Howard made a promise to God. Now, that's their generation. That's not my generation. Bishop Carter is my generation. But he made a promise. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I talked to, to Elect Lady Perkins and I started to tell her the things that God was showing me. She said, Do you not know that was Bishop Carter's vision? See, what God promised and not lie. Listen, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. They, they preached already. You ain't grabbed that. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. They 
Dios y otro lado. Y una librada con el daño de mi pacto. El Dios es el que no. Don't you know that he made a commitment to them? And the commitment that he made with them, there's a covenant now with you. Amen. That's it. Amen. Everlasting covenant. Glory. I got a covenant. Thank you, Lord. And he's making me. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah, I Glory, Jesus. Listen to me. He's making you the pastor that he wants you to be. You ain't got to make yourself. He's making you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. You hear what I'm saying to you? Being confident of this very thing that he has begun a good work. Glory. I gotta listen to me. I gotta uh, listen to me. He already stopped the approval. Now he got back up his step. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down, Pastor. You understand what I'm saying to you? You ain't gotta preach like everybody else. You ain't gotta shout like everybody else. Just be what God wanted you to be. The person told me, he said, that man, that man, that man, that man, that man. I said, there's that man. He said, but that man had a different look than when he got shot. But he got a blessed chin. And God said, listen to me. How many people get electric food in that man? That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know y'all want this. Do you remember the message that I preached when I came in? And I told you, I said, God said, He's going to reward you. Do you he said, Answer the call. You answer. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? You answered the call. So God got a step of approval on you, and God's going to manifest His step. God's going to manifest His step. You ain't got to worry about who show up. Just tell them you show up. Not you show up with God. God's going to show up, and He's going to show up. He's making you, listen to me, Pastor. He's making you for the people that he sent. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, boy, I know. Glory to God. He's making you for the people that he sent. And some of the things that God did for Pastor Howard, Pastor Wade, Bishop Tyler, and Bishop Hunter, God going to do for you. He ain't even forgot about you. He don't want you to walk like they walk. He wants you to walk like he already told you to walk. But don't think that that macaroni fell on you. Don't think that that promise that he made with them didn't fall on you. If he kept them, he'll keep you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Your yes is predicated on your relationship, not their relationship. Your yes with God is predicated what God said to you from being a brother, from being a deacon, from being a minister, from being an elder, to being a pastor. God is elevated. And he's making you. You can call this a family church all This is God. That's it. That's it. I ain't going to no family church. You pray. We was family when we when we wasn't saved. We family when we got saved. Now you won't get mad because I'm pastor and I ain't doing what you want me to do. You go to hell. Go to hell. That's where you're going to go. Yeah. 
He said, I give you pastors after my heart, not what you want. This ain't Israel. I ain't walking around in the wilderness another 40 years to make you happy. All right, thank God. Show what? Show what? Did you hear what we read this morning? The mantle didn't fall on you. So why are you mad about where God made the mantle fall?
God spoke to you, do you believe? You can't run. So you gotta believe. Are you right there with me? <laughs>
ain't trying to go to the Lord's Supper. I want to know what's on the plate that we left in Genesis. Jesus. Jesus. You don't know what's on the plate. How are you going to do the Lord's Supper? I want to know what he left for us in Genesis. Certainly not. Certainly not. Certainly not. 
lost that key. And I told my wife, I said, there was a song that they gave me, Pastor, by Donnie McClary. And my dad said, you're the only one that I ever seen sing a song and control the music at the same time. I said, oh, Lord. Donnie McClary is Baby, he loved me. I should. <laughs> them old school songs. But them are the songs that kept me. And they still do. Amen. Because they got the word. Me. I tell you. I wouldn't give up this foundation for nothing in the world. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. The day that he gave you the gift of the Holy Ghost, the day that he received your intention and filled you with the Holy Ghost, do you remember what he spoke to you? Yes, Lord. Now, it might have been a year ago, might have been six months ago, might have been 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, however long it be. He had not forgotten his promise to you. So watch this as I go. My question to you while you are standing before God, have you changed your mind? You said yes, but you got slapped. You said yes, but you start to question. You said yes. You start to doubt. You say yes. You say, oh God, this is too hard. But we all say. But do you remember your commitment to God? Lord, if you save me, I'll go. If you fill me with the Holy Ghost, I'll stand. Not whether you be in the building, but whether you be in the family. Today, my question to us is do you believe? And if your faith has come short, don't be worried about it. And I heard the Bible say, Lord, I believe. But help thou. Lord. I'm standing in the need. Help me. I shut it off for it. Started doing it with it. Thought I was doing it right. Something showed up and showed me that I wasn't strong like I thought. But Lord, you're right. Yeah. Let keep my body. Restore back up to me. The joy of me. That I can stand and say. I am your witness. Listen, we love you. Let us help you to survive. Amen. Lady, lady, lady. Amen. Listen, listen. I feel like shopping. I did. 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 I did
that a man was talking about, do you have a sign? Do you have a sign? I help you. Do you have a sign? If you remember, Simon was the one that held Jesus on his cross. That came and took the gold for him. Do you have a sign? So when we come and touch the crew, and we have the Simons. <laughs> we hear to help each other one, we help one to another. Simon. And the Lord Jesus will be with Thank you. 
while we doing the announcements, um, um, the uh, offering, the ways to give will be up on the screen, and we uh, you have the opportunity to give the offering. God has just been blessing, so we didn't want to break in the middle of what He was doing to give announcements and offering. So the business is handled at the end, and there we go with the English. <laughs> So that's our signature song back in the day for Auburn. Anytime they'll be able to play that, you do it for Auburn time. So, so while we give an announcement, you feel free uh, to give the offering. Uh, the food up in, uh, will be on the table. And so, but while we're doing that, the announcements uh, next week is Pump Sunday. And, and, and uh, we just want to get together because we're not going up north. Uh, that has been um, canceled for this time because we were down there last month for Mother Sanders, and and so there they uh, just said we'll be again in June, but on here on this end we want to meet on next week after service. We just gonna have Palm Sunday uh, um, movie uh, movie and dinner. Uh, we just gonna fellowship. We just don't have fellowship in the kitchen. Um, and so you're welcome to join us. We just gonna fellowship for Palm Sunday. This is be home on Palm Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be home. And the following week, it'll be Easter. So we're looking forward to this season because not too long after that, you know, we're going into Pentecost. You know, hey, we don't get started. So we just get yeah, excited about that. Um, so we just want to let you know. And so while we're doing that, we want to write today. It's someone's birthday on today. And I want to take the time to acknowledge my godmother's birthday today. Praise God. We want to just say happy birthday to you. We love you so much. And so we want to sing. You know how we do the revelation. We're going to sing. And we're not going to make her stand up. We're not going to make her stand up and come on to the front. But we want to sing happy birthday. To, to God on Praise God. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. May you feel Jesus day. Every day. Jesus' name, because we do appreciate your prayers and your giving. 
but everything you do be appreciated. We're going to ask everyone to stand. Praise God. And with all this word and encouragement that we're on today, we just want to say, let the church say amen. We just going to say amen. You ask the question, do we believe? Yes, I believe it. It's amen. It's amen. He wants to be witnesses. He's calling all the witnesses. Amen. So as we depart from this place, but never from his presence, let the church say Yeah. 